if we let s denote the set of all complex number z for which the power series summation a n z to the n converges, then just as in the real case, one of three things must happen. Namely, either s consists solely of zero. See, obviously, if I replace z by zero, this thing converges. It's identically zero, in fact. Or it may be such that these terms go to zero so rapidly that this will converge for all complex number c. In other words, that the, that the set s can be all complex numbers. Usually, you'll get something in between these two extremes. And that's the case, like just in the real case, there exists a number capital R greater than zero, such that the set S consists of all of those Z's, such that the absolute value of Z is less than R. And by the way, what does this mean geometrically? The absolute value of Z is the magnitude of Z. That's the distance of Z from the origin. This says that Z is within capital R of the origin. That means you're inside the circle centered at the origin with radius R. At any rate, going on, the convergence is both absolute and uniform in any interior disk. In other words, inside the disk, absolute value of z is less than or equal to little r, where little r is less than capital R. Again, in terms of a picture, what we're saying is, if the first two conditions don't hold, given a power series, at the origin, I draw a circle. I don't draw a circle. What I'm saying is there exists a circle such that the power series will converge every place inside here. It will diverge every place outside here. And what happens on the boundary must be investigated separately, again, just as in the real case. OK? That's what the key theorem is. And again, you'll have time to reread this and to digest it in your leisure before you try the exercises. Now, once we've defined what we mean by a power series, and notice, by the way, that absolute convergence goes through word for word in the complex valued case, because after all, in terms of absolute convergence, we look at absolute values, and absolute values are non-negative reals, regardless.